This is 96.5 Bolton FM, the voice of the Bolton family. I'm Chris Arden, which to the Ramsbottom United manager, Mark Fell. Good evening to you, Mark. Good evening. Mark, you've just beaten Trafford 3-1 here this evening at the Harry Williams Stadium. Four wins out of four, although you were made to work for it tonight. Were you surprised by how hard fought the victory was, or were you expecting it because Trafford, because of uh, Trafford's uh, work rate tonight? I certainly wasn't going to be an easy game. Listen, when you look at their team sheet, they are a top-class side. They have got players that have played much higher. They've, they've got their full names, you know what I mean? Big players who've played in big in big divisions and, and, and have done well. So where they are in the league, for me, is totally false. They're, they're a good side. And I thought, certainly first half, I thought first 20 minutes was probably ours. I thought the second 25 of the first half was probably theirs. And I thought when we conceded, they got their goal when they were on top. Um the, the positive for me was our reaction after the second half. We were we were absolutely brilliant. We've we've learned or we're learning how to soak up pressure at certain times, and then we've got so much ability going forward that I mean we've scored we scored three at home against Radcliffe. We scored four against Glossop. We've scored three tonight. I said we need to make this place a fortress, and and, and we have done. We, we, we've won every game here in the league, and uh, tonight was probably the hardest fought and it should be against a side like that listen they'll be up there I don't care how, how, where they are in the league That they'll be up there at the end they're, they're a good side but I think to beat them in the manner that we beat them second half it was fantastic I'm absolutely delighted with them I can't blame you for being so enthusiastic with the result at full time because I think as you rightly mentioned first 20 minutes you were dominant it did appear as though they were coming more into the game at, but thankfully on the half hour mark you take the lead and Jerome Wright thankfully it comes from a breakaway goal Jerome much like the team as a whole tonight he had to work to get that goal yeah he did he had a chance first half which which I thought he should have scored and he sort of sliced it sliced it wide and then keeper saved it saved one as well and he had a chance second half that's deflected for a, I mean, listen he's so lively he, he's, he's, he's I mean we talked about him last week and, and how good he is for me tonight I mean you look at our back four and the age of them we've got three 20 year olds in the back four and Tomo who's behaves like a 20 year old but he's actually 20, <laughs> 26, 27 they're, they're a young side I thought Brad Roscoe he, he had a tough task tonight with James Dean James, experienced striker um, played in the professional game I thought Brad and Tomo to be fair they marshalled him really well. I mean, Tom Orr, he's about five foot nine. He, he must jump six six at least. He's, he's but he's all desire, all heart. And I thought defensively, they've given a wonderful account of themselves. They, they've for me, they've announced themselves that that yeah, we're as good a back four in this division as you're going to get. And look at the age of us, and look how, how much better we're going to do. Marcus Poshka's not played a competitive game other than the one he played last week for for probably about a year. You know what I mean? In terms, of, he's been playing development school, development school, development uh, football. But this is blood and thunder battles, wars out there. He's acquitted himself brilliantly and Kyle Brownhill must have covered about 10 miles tonight because he was up and down that left-hand side and he's a great foil for, uh, for Jerome as well. I was going to say on the whole, you put, but you pretty much beat me to the punch right there, that collectively the defence was excellent. And all you were saying throughout that first half, whenever uh, Trafford were getting the ball out wide, was just saying, don't let them cross it in, don't let them cross it in, don't let them cross it in. The one time that there was a bit of a lapse of concentration, Shafford ended up scoring from it. And in all honesty, you did begin the second half well, but a rather surprising way for yourselves to get back in front. What did you make of Craig Daniels' goal? I'm not sure it's Greg Daniels' goal. He's telling me oh. it is, but um, I mean, it's come a long way, hasn't it? It's come a long way. It's gone through a lot of people. We've got about six players claiming it in there, so um, we'll need to see it again on, on the video. Listen, you, you take your luck when you're going to get it, and you've still got to put good balls into good areas, and that's what we did. And It's one of them. You see it all the time, don't you? Everybody goes in, they make good movement, good runs, and everybody misses it, and, and it goes in. So, yeah, there's a, probably a, a touch of fortune to that, but there was no fortune to the others. They were, they were, they were good goals, and we were well worthy of it. I have to admit, Mark Hazeldine, when he came on, he was covering all sorts of areas on that right-hand side. I don't know whether to say whether he worked harder without the ball than he did with it. Nonetheless, I did feel as though he merited that third goal that ultimately wrapped up the game. What do you have to say? Well, it's hard for for Max because we've used him twice. It, again, we used him the same against Glossop tactically to come off the bench and cause havoc, basically. And that's tough for him because he he doesn't want to be on the bench. He wants to be playing games, but we've had to sort of use him in the most effective way that we felt. And there'll be games. Listen, there'll be miles more games than not that he's he's playing the, the full ninety minutes. And in terms of 
doing the right thing from a football management perspective. He's earned, he's earned his chance, and, it, and, it, and there's no doubt that he'll, he'll, he'll be back in the team. But I thought he's, he's desired his application. He's kept it. He's, he's not sulked. He's, he's worked hard. And we've got a group of players. We've got Warriors. We've got a group of players, and we've turned some players who weren't, probably weren't known as Warriors. We're probably known as, you know, either a bit soft or played in a certain way and like time on the ball. This is a team of grafters. This is a team of workers. And tonight is tonight's a victory for workers and grafters, but it's a victory for research because we've we've every team that we've played against, we've studied, we've watched, we've sent videos to the lads, we've commentated on stuff, we've had a game plan. And it for me, that's the most satisfying thing. I want to put a team out there that are structured and do things in the right way. I want to put a team of, of battlers out there that become winners. And we have done, we, we've made a great start to the season. We've turned some big teams over. Um, the job now is to keep our feet on the ground and keep us going. Well, indeed, your next two matches are away from home. Next Saturday, you're taking on Mosley, and then a few days later, you'll be up against Kendall County. It sort of speaks to the fact that you're not here again until the 23rd of September when you're taking on Prescott Cables. And, well, as Alison Collery's found out not a few nights ago, those three teams are going to be very tough to play against, much like Trafford here tonight. Yeah, well, here's our test now. We've got four out of five of the next games are away from home. Mm. So how much can we... Uh, I mean, we've drawn. We've only played two away. We've drawn both. We've got to start turning some of them into wins. If we've got serious ambitions here, and after the start we've had, why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we have serious ambitions to try and get out, out of this division, like, like a lot of other teams? But we're not here playing at it. We're here. We've put a side together that we want to be up there. Um, well, it's a test of our metal. Can we go away from home? playing a, maybe a little bit of a different style and, and make sure that we, we can still come out on top. But there'll be tough games. I mean, Kendall, I've watched them a couple of times. Um, we go away to, to Mosley, have had a good start as well. So but every, every game is going to be tough. Every game will be tough. Can we apply some of that stuff we've done out there today into those two games? And can we keep going? And that's all we can ask for at the moment. I'm, I'm absolutely made up with them, with them players whether they've been in the squad or not, the, the substitutes that came on, every single one of them deserves a, a huge amount of credit tonight for the work that they've done. A huge amount of credit for the start of the season for the work that they've done. And in front of 369 supporters as well, and even better, up to second in the table. Well, I'll let you revel in your victory tonight, but Mark Fell, thank you very much for speaking tonight at 6.5 Bolton FM. And once again, congratulations on a very heartfelt 3-1 victory over uh, Trafford here tonight. Thank you.